What's up with the world? I want to welcome you guys to Feature Music Fridays. First week of it with Big Mike Hart. But to kick off Feature Music Fridays, we have a special co host to help introduce my brand. Goddamn right. <laughs> Say I'm special, nigga. He's special. special. You feel me? My guy, the one and only Mr. Afion Crockett is Word. here. I'm looking at both cameras. You feel me? It's, it's, it's two of them. Come on. You feel me? Am I cross-sided or am I not? I don't know. What uh, up, Mike? Man, my guy. What's up, bro? Chilling, bro. Man, we here. We, we here. here, dog. So look, let's talk, man. Look, for those that don't know you, that, that aren't as familiar with your work, mm-hmm. Talk about like the first big project that where you felt like I'm on, like I'm in the I'm in the industry right now. Man, first big project I felt like I'm on. Um, shoot, you know what? It was doing source music, man. Um, it was TV placements, doing some production, and I felt like I was in the industry, man. Uh, so what was the first joint? Like it had to be like a big project where you was like, uh, nigga, we made it. You know what? It was a song. I can't even tell you the name of the song. It was just instrumental. You remember that show on VH1 from G's the Gents that was hosted by Fonsworth Bentley? Yep. Man, I had a song on that show. And I remember waking up. I was like, yo, is this my song? I had like a 13-inch TV in my room. And I was like, You was watching it on a laptop, Man. I was like, (laughs) yo, is this my record playing on VH1? I thought I made it, man. I really, I really did. It's huge, though. And what about artist placement? Like, what was the first artist that you worked with where you was, like, you was kind of in the studio on shook mode a little bit? Um, Slam from 112, man. Um, Slam from, <laughs> uh, Slam from 112, man. He came <laughs> came down the sack, man. He was working with uh with my big bro, Derek D.O.A. Allen, man. And, uh, you know, he brought all of our, you know, young cats in, man, and, uh, you know, I had a couple records with Slim Cut, and I was just like, yo, I'm about to be, you know, 113. I'm about to add to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it for was sure. crazy. <laughs> for sure. It was crazy. And outside of him, name some other, like, notable artists where you were like, all right, this is, this is a consistent stream. Like, we really in this game now. Man, uh, shoot, Lloyd. Um, He's one of my guys. We're oh. actually weirdly related. Really? My aunt used to date his pops. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, but he's a cool guy. Shout out to the homie Lloyd, man. What up, Lloyd? My guy. Um, shoot, man. Uh working with Raphael Sadiq. Um one of the most humble geniuses big on facts. the planet. Big facts, man. Uh yeah. Big homie. Man, the great DJ Quick. Another you know, one. Dude, that was life changing. <laughs> Situation, man, just being able to play with him and tour with him. Back and you from it, West Coast, so it's like yeah, I'm from Sacramento, man. So it's like Quick is one of those those pillars in in West Coast culture. Big facts, man. He's a mm-hmm. staple, man, in in um in music in general. But mm-hmm. yeah, specifically to the West Coast, man, he's that that legend for sure. Right. Yeah. Um. Shoot, man. Let's take it back. Karen White, Superwoman. Listen. Wait a second. Wait, you work with Karen White? Work with Karen White, man. I was her guitar player and then went to being her musical director, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Superwoman Karen yeah. White. Karen with a Y. You right, that part. Yeah, man. Yeah, now Karen was so dope, man. Yeah. Big uh, what was this? Oh, the way you love me. She had a little up tempo <laughs> shit. A little shoulder move joints, nigga. Come on, man. Hey man, you know. Yeah. I man. know the vibes, yo. Yeah. Um, Who's your favorite artist to work with? Like somebody that you may have like idolized for a minute and was like, man, and you finally got to work with them. Oh, man, I idolized for him. You know what? I gotta say. I mean, Raphael would be pretty close to that. I, right? Yeah, but you know what, man? I gotta say, Dr. Dre. Shout out to the big oh. bro, Focus. Shout out to Dr- Focus, Dre. Yeah. I just realized that you knew Focus last night because he yeah. reposted. Um, Something on his story in in your studio. I was like, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. the homies know each other. Yeah, man, man. Focus is a big brother in the game, man. To me and my production partner, Buddy Bangs, man. Um, he took us to the studio, man, to meet and work with Dre. Yeah, Marsha and Brozier the same night. Big sis, yeah, yep, yep, man. Yep. So that that night was like surreal. Actually, bro, it was the. I want to say a week or two after I moved to LA, mm-hmm. 2015. That's how I knew I was supposed to be here. 
I said, you know what? God just showed everything right there. He was like, I'm going to put you in the presence of greatness and let you know that you made the right move. So, yeah, that yeah, was crazy. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to Focus, man. Big homies. Big I worked fact. with Dre a long time ago, and then Focus is just reconnecting me with him. Yeah, I seen like, y'all's picture. Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was like, yo, I feel like I needed to be in that shot, but it's cool. Yeah, I'll be in the next yeah. One. Look, it's going to be plenty more. Me and Focus are working on something together. Ooh. So, that's <laughs> it's going to be... For those that don't know my my music and my pin game, yeah, 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 it's gonna be pin game is crazy. It's gonna be stupid. Listen, mm. crazy. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, for sure. So now, nah, I mean, Dre is Dre, Quick, Sadiq. Like you have some real legendary West Coast. To, uh, yeah. I mean, from the West Coast, but worldwide, yeah, big man. artists that you're now putting your name next to, and that's amazing. So, who haven't you worked with that you're like? Man, I gotta get something with this person. I gotta be in the same room with this person. Who haven't you worked with? That, that's like bucket list. Man, always wanted to work with. Man, I definitely want to work with the Queen B. Mm. You know, I definitely want to work with Beyonce. Mm -hmm. um, I want to work with Jay Z, of course. Mm -hmm. Just a power couple in general. Just because I think you know, outside of the creativity, to be in the presence of that that level of thinking, yeah, I think would be incredible. You know what I'm saying? I think when we first met. We talked about doing some demos for for Jay. We and, did and sending. I, I should just so. do it in his voice, do the whole song. Hey, bro, and send in it his off. Voice, send it off, and just come yeah. up with something real, real crazy. Yeah, man. I'm gonna tell you who I really want to work with, man. I just feel like it would be an amazing record. Is Tamia? I'm just throwing that in the atmosphere, man. I just feel like her voice. She's one of those. Uh, what I call our our gems because yeah. i've always said in different interviews that like as a black community as a as a culture we toss our gems to the side man for real a tossed gem though is still a gem facts so just because you're not paying attention to it don't mean that that gem ain't a gem Absolutely. so to me it's still out here Killing. out singing you man. know what I'm saying? With People, no auto tune, no man. auto tune, nothing. Like she just out here, still, still thriving. Like yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it just it just pisses me off that like in the in the on the white side of things, the Rolling Stones and U2 and all of these guys can sell out arenas still, Bruh. Cause they got the support from their audience. Absolutely. Yeah, we say we love. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Earth, Wind, and Fire, and all them new edition and all them, but they gotta do shows. Combined with other groups Facts. in smaller venues, just yeah. to be able to make that, you know, yeah. that return. But yeah. you know, there's no reason why New Edition shouldn't be selling out Staples Center multiple nights as a standalone, as a, by themselves. That's by what I'm themselves. saying. By themselves, no opener. Yeah, you two could, could be. They just you two, and they sell out bruh. arenas, bro. Dave Matthews Band, like all those kind of bands, man. Maroon just, Five, Maroon man. Five, you know. Nah, facts, bro. And no knock to them. I'm just saying, like, come on, black people. Let's support our own. Like, like let, let's support our gems. Bro, I'm a thousand percent with you. So you got a new project dropping. Woo! It's called Single. Now, as an MC, I'm going, I'm going to go into the double entendres there. Man. You got an album called Single. Bro. So obviously, it's not a single that you're dropping. You're dropping mm. a full project. So you're talking about being single and Ooh. single man issues, right? Indeed, man. You saw how I broke that down? Man, you broke it down, man. Lyrically. You know what I'm saying? Because he's an MC, you know? Man, the whole album is about the different stages of singleness, you know? Uh, what we go through as men when we lose a good one, you know? How we try to act like we cool once we lost a good one. And then we sit back, reflect that, damn, I really lost a good one. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, we vow to never make that mistake again. And when we find another one, however long it takes when we get her, we're going to, you know, do right by it this right. time. You right, know what this I'm time around. Right. Yeah. You got you. So that's your experience with this Man. specifically. Like, Absolutely. there's a good one out there that you fucked up on. Man. That you let go. <laughs> let go. That got away. Got away. And, uh, you know, you trying to you trying to play <laughs> Catch up, bruh. You know, look, my shirt says it, man. Uh, my hoodie says it. Be good to win, be good, just be good to the good, ones. you know, and make Polaroid memories. You don't be good me? to the hoes, no, nope, because the hoes don't be good to you. They don't, the hoes are not good to you. Your pockets, man, your reputation, the streets don't love you. Your health, you know, man, listen, for real, dog.